New tonight, President Trump's spokesman referring to Puerto Rico as another country. Here's Hogan Gidley. With all we've done in that country, they have had a systematic mismanagement of the goods and services we've sent to them. I think you refer to Puerto Rico as that country. A territory, yes. Okay. Territory. I'm so, yeah, that was a mistake. Slip of the tongue. 100%. Just want to clarify 100%. that. that. Gidley's comment coming as President Trump escalates his feud with Puerto Rico's leaders, tweeting, quote, FEMA and the military worked emergency miracles, but politicians like the crazed and incompetent mayor of San Juan have done such a poor job of bringing the island back to health. Well, out front now, the San Juan mayor, Carmen Julene Cruz. And Mayor Cruz, thank you very much. So thank I you. would be remiss if I didn't start with the president here. He calls you crazed and incompetent. Your response. Look, uh, the president lives in an alternative world where he tries to pin people against one another. I guess it's easier for him to try and uh, put me down. He cannot. Uh, you know, one, Eleanor Roosevelt used to say, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Well, Mr. President, we don't consent. You aren't worthy of being president. You don't know what you're talking about. You continue to lie. And you continue to mistreat people. And that's just the way you do policy. One of the things, Aaron, if he doesn't get his way, he'll throw a little temper tantrum. And he will just try and ditch anybody he can. He did it a few weeks ago uh, when he couldn't get the money for the border. He left 800,000 federal employees without the ability to take yeah. food to their families. That's exactly what he's doing to Puerto Rico. 1.3 million Puerto Ricans need some sort of food stamp assistance to put food on the table. Out of that, 45% are children, elderly, and disabled uh, citizens. It is remarkable that the president cannot understand that he's gotten this all wrong. And it's like a virus. It continues to sift down. You just uh, quoted the deputy communications officer from the yeah. White House uh, calling us that people. Rick Scott, senator, recently uh, coming into the Senate, saying that he will only support the kind of aid that the president is going to approve. Well, what and the, the president hell himself, is that? Mayor, the president himself, you, you point out what Hogan Gidley said, you know, obviously referring to it uh, as that country. The president himself uh, tweeted, Puerto Rican politicians, quote, only take from the USA. I mean, does the president even, well, even, I, even recognize in, in any important way, in any meaningful way, that Puerto Ricans are citizen of, citizens of the United States of America? But the president doesn't care. Uh, he has proven time and time again that he's in this to look good. You know, he, he thinks this is about him. He never got it when I pleaded and I asked him for help. He never got that this was about saving lives. He doesn't get that this is about putting food on the table. And what does he do? He tries to pin Puerto Ricans mm -hmm. against farmers in the Midwest who are also in dire need of uh, getting not the help. This is not help. This is what governments that have a, a moral platform to stand up, which of course the president does not do, when the people that are governed by them need assistance, they provide assistance. And, and moreover, he lies. $91 billion have not gotten to Puerto Rico. Uh, the Washington Post says that between 11 right. and 13 billion dollars have gotten to Puerto Rico. Yeah. 3,000 people died on his watch, and he's so, not even embarrassed by so that. So, to make your point about the 91 billion, yes, the Washington Post says only 11 billion of that has gone to the island, and the rest of it is money set aside and money that eventually he says may be needed, right? So, so that number doesn't add up at all. But the president does say that the money Puerto Rico has, it has, has not been spent wisely. Here's how he put it, Mayor. You do have a mayor of San Juan that frankly doesn't know what she's doing. And the governor, uh, they got to spend the money wisely. They don't know how to spend the money and they're not spending it wisely. Obviously, personally, again, uh, striking at you as well as the governor. Puerto Rico did declare, though, $123 billion essentially in bankruptcy, which was the first time in history a state or a territory of the United States has done so. Does he have a point at all, Mayor, about Puerto Rico accounting for the money you're receiving? Oh, uh, absolutely. And one of the things that I have asked uh, Benny Thompson, uh, the uh, president of the Homeland Security Committee, is to set up some sort of a uh, computerized 
data point where we can all see where the money has gone. But let me give you one point. For example, FEMA right now is in the process still of providing the cities of San Juan and all the rest of the cities in Puerto Rico the money that they are supposed to be reimbursed. And this is from the immediate aftermath of the hurricane. So, of course, people have to be accountable for the money that uh, are, is given in order to do the reconstruction and, and the recovery. But he doesn't have to lie. You know why he lies? Because he made this and he spun this as a good news story. This is Trump's Katrina. This is not a good news story. It has never been a good news story for him. The Pentagon knew it. That's why they wrote him little emails telling him to ignore when I called out for help back in September and October of 2017. The American people who are so much different from the United States, uh, from, from the president of the United States know it. That's why they flocked to Puerto Rico by the hundreds to help us, to feed us, to tend to our wounds. So, of course, one has to be accountable yeah. for the money. But the president is unable to give one example of where that money has been misused. Mm. He is all about the talk. He's not right. about doing what is right or, or really trying to get people to come together. The empathy. All right, Mayor Cruz, thank you so much. I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you very much.